Good morning, relatives. Um, uh, those of you that are familiar with the settler colony of Rapid City understand uh, uh, the adversity that we face in these conversations. Um, in the time uh, that I've been among the Lakota people, the fight has always been about land back, about getting the land so that we can educate our people and live in a have a quality of life that our ancestors had around wellness and equity and respect and dignity. And these efforts, they do that. They perpetuate our value system when we make these stands. And the time is right. The time is right now to do those things politically, spiritually, and as we sit uh, among this Hochoka, the power of this Hochoka, the power of this prayer that unites us, these things are possible to accomplish. And I think we need to support one another in these efforts. Um, you know, the specifics might take us in different directions, but the outcome, what we see, want for our people, is the same. So as we travel and navigate these fights in the urban area, in the rural area, and throughout Lakota territory, I think that uh, we're going to make a move. You know, as Crow Dog said, we're going to make a move now. And these efforts, like we heard yesterday, about improving the quality of education for our own community, of getting our land back in urban settings for our own community, prosper and develop in our own way on our own terms is very important. I think uh, the power of the treaty and the power of those who have been working for generations on this fight, it's now. We're going to make a move now and we're going to accomplish these things. Why is Because we know how powerful this way of life is and it guides us. I just wanted to say that much that uh, encourage all of you to uh, have an open mind and let's stand together i hope oh thank you, you we're gonna what we're gonna do here is